Take us through your day uh, for 9-11. 9-11 was a, uh, a day that I could never forget. That day was such turmoil that it was impossible to really understand what was happening, um, what the next day or days would be like, what was going to come out of all this. Um, how was the world going to convulse around us? And so it was a, uh, a day of massive horror, uh, dislocation, uh, tremendous grief. I mean, the loss of life uh, was astounding. And America never had anything like this. It also, it displayed uh, some incredibly wonderful characteristics about human beings because the horrors of 9-11 brought out the best uh, of what's, what, what's here in America, what our values are, and how we sort of pulled ourselves together and decided that this was not going to stand, uh, that we would not cower before terrorists, uh, we would not give in to them, uh, but ultimately that we were going to rebuild the Trade Center. Obviously, 9-11 was the terrible day for everybody, but in the aftermath, did you ever think that the reconstruction of the site would not happen? Uh, that, was, that was really an extraordinary experience, how Americans got together, how, how and particularly New Yorkers, of course, this happened to us here in New York. And one of the very early decisions that I had to make is um, to rebuild 7 World Trade Center, the building we're in. It was the last building to come down on 9-11. Gene McGrath, chairman of Con Edison at the time, called me uh, within a day or two and told me that he had a terrible problem. The substation, the Con Ed substation, that provided all the power for Lower Manhattan and particularly the Trade Center. The substation was in the base of my building at 7 World Trade Center. It too was destroyed. And he said, he said, we're gonna, we can't, we can't function this way. We're providing power now with emergency generators that we brought onto the site. He said, there's no way of telling how that will, how long that will last. And I thought about that. And I said to myself, well, he needs the substation rebuilt. I said, the truth of the matter is, we need this building rebuilt because everybody began to leave Lower Manhattan. There was a massive evacuation from Lower Manhattan. People who were living down here moved uptown. Corporate occupants down here couldn't use their space, couldn't use their facilities. They started moving uptown. So there was a massive exodus. And I looked at this and I said to myself, something, we have to do something to stop the exodus. And so first thing we did, we started clearing the, this site. Larry, tell us what initially drew you to the Twin Towers. Back in 1980, when the port decided not to build a building here, but to offer the opportunity to developers. And so I thought that was quite interesting as a potential. And I decided to enter the competition to lease this site from the Port Authority. And I won the bid. Not by a lot, but I won the bid. And so I proceeded ahead to look carefully at the possibilities here. And when I really began to study it, it became obvious to me that rather than put up a million square foot building here, the site could support a two million square foot building. And so that's how we started building a different building entirely than the port had originally designed. And at the topping out ceremony, for the original Seven World Trade Center. I remember looking up at the Twin Towers that towered above the original seven. And I looked at those two towers and I said to myself, wouldn't it be incredible if someday I could own those? Until such time as the governor called and said, would you be interested in the Twin Towers acquisition? And I said, yes. And from that day on, we got involved with it and ultimately succeeded in getting it, as I indicated earlier. 
And so, had, had we not won this, this site originally, I don't know whether this, this would have happened. All right, well, thank you so much, Larry.